They really are abandoning the tradition of what many people think church should be like. New, more contemporary Christian churches, like one right here in the valley, K2 the church. This is what church normally looks like. You see a lot of statues. The pews, boring, average, every day. Now, some are changing that. Pool tables, coffee. Can you imagine what that would be like? Come on, just imagine. Even a pastor in jeans. We're really targeting the people who just say, you know what, I've been to church and that was not worth my time. And we want to say, well, maybe church wasn't, but Jesus is. And let's give it, give it another shot. K2, the church in Salt Lake City, is part of a movement across the country. Churches that are different than what you and I grew up with. Here at K2, they say they realize a cup of coffee, a java shop with their own unique blend of coffee is not normal for a traditional church. But they say they're not trying to be a traditional church. It's pretty off the chart. It's pretty radical. But uh, once you, you, you check it out, try it out, it's, it's warm, it's environmental. They say it's all about culture, and the only way to bring God to many people is to meet them in the middle. Jesus did some pretty radical things in his day, too, and I think uh, what we want to do here is just kind of think outside the box a little bit, and uh, sometimes we, we, we find out where the edge is, you know? <laughs> but if you don't try something new, you, you never know. But the bottom line here is the message. And despite the rock music and giant iPod, the pastor at K2 says it's exactly the same. The response has been amazing. Um, people are just are, they're loving this place, just drawn here. And every week we've got new people walking through. I don't do well in those churches. I feel like I'm constricted. I feel like my like views can't be voiced. And here at this, I feel like I can I can question. I can I can question God. K2 also puts all of its services online as podcasts. You can download them onto any MP3 player and listen to them later. But, as you may imagine, there are some critics. Coming up in about half an hour, what one religious expert says about these new churches and the traditional ones, in which he thinks are most likely to last. 13 News at 9 with Bob Evans and Hopewood Side. Earlier in the newscast, we showed you a new contemporary Christian church. They preach the same traditional message in a non-traditional way, including pool tables, a coffee shop, and projection TVs. Fox 13's Kirk Youngke continues this story with a look at where church may be heading in years to come. These contemporary churches are very different than what most of us are used to, but where do these churches fit in the future of religion? We take a closer look at K2, the church. What I love about Jesus was when he came, he wasn't, I mean, he was God, but he didn't freak everybody out with his glory. He actually, as it says, clothed himself with humanity and said, I'm gonna come right into your world. And the parables that we don't understand, it's because we don't live in that culture. They understood him because he was speaking to their culture. The K2 Church in Salt Lake City tries to do exactly that. With pool tables, projection TVs, even a giant iPod. Some experts say this movement is part of something bigger. It's not something that happened overnight. It is in many ways a response to this shift in culture. It's a shift that has churches appealing to younger people. They use the arts so much. They use like music and drama. And, like it's a multimedia church. Like I like that. When you think of church, oftentimes you think of this, a cross, pews, maybe the Old Testament here in the pews. But some say, even though this is the way it's been, this isn't the way it has to be, and this may not be the way it's going to be. I think it's very good for religion. Um, I don't think we want to um, ever lock the Holy Spirit into one way of doing things. Some churches are sticking with tradition. Those at K2 say, great. I love the fact that there are different churches in the style of the way they present it because our church, people, a lot of people don't like ours. And so there better be something else that's different. And, and I, I think that diversity is even part of God. But Wakefield, on the other hand, says if they don't change, their days could be numbered. I don't worry about them. I just realize they won't be here. 
Fast forward 50, 100 years, there just will be very few of them left. The pastor at K2 says he meets with churches from across the valley on a regular basis. He says almost all of them accept his style and understand that they can coexist together. Some traditional churches have started offering extra services that are almost a hybrid of traditional and contemporary style. In the studio, Kirk Yonke, Fox 13 News, Utah. One thing is certain, if you put a coffee shop in church, no, no one, one will, will fall, fall asleep. asleep. That's right. Oh. And we should mention that that's uh, James Wakefield from the Salt Lake Theological uh, Seminary. Yeah, good job, Kirk.